Hello guys, I'm back for another electrical related vlog. For this video, I will show you what is deck crane and I will give you some of the crane parts arrangement and their functions. Enjoy watching and welcome to my channel. All of us are very curious about ship's deck crane or the robot crane so I made this deck crane familiarization video to give you some information about this massive machine on board. Crane is specialized in lifting heavy loads, materials and goods for a variety of purposes. They are used in all different sectors from construction to manufacturing to shipbuilding. Okay guys, now we will enter the deck crane through the mass house. This is the way going up to the crane control cabin. So guys, as you can see on my video, here on the fourth level of the crane, you will notice a color machinery green rectangular shape. That is the slip ring assembly guys. So I will give a little exp explanation about the slip ring. A slip ring is an electromechanical device that allows the transmission of power and electrical signal from a stationary to a rotating structure. A slip ring can be used in an electromechanical system that requires rotation while transmitting power or signal. Basically, a slip ring is a continuous ring where a commutator is segmented. Functionally, slip rings provide a continuous transfer of power, signals, or data. Specifically, in AC motors, they transfer resistance to the rotor winding. Here also at the fourth deck, we can notice some gear form around the body of the crane. This, this is what we call the turn table or the part that make our crane turn 360 degree. This part turn sideways by the reduction gear or the sleeving motor coupled beside the gear tooths.
Here at the fifth deck, the electric motor for the hydraulic system is located that serve as the heart of the hydraulic system and also below the motor is the vein pump that feeds the hydraulic oil on the piping. Okay guys, as you can notice our deck crane don't have enough space. The hydraulic winch drum is also located nearby the pump. The lower cable drum is the hoisting and the upper drum is the loofing. Beside the cable drums are the hydraulic motors that drive the winch forward and reverse. The hydraulic system for hoisting, loofing and sleeving is composed of fixed displacement hydraulic oil pumps, fixed displacement oil motors, control valves, counterbalance valves and other accessories. Of course, the pressure relief valve is fitted in each circuit to prevent the line from overpressure. The pressure oil delivered from each oil pump driven by an electric motor is regulated by the control valve and is supplied to each oil motor. hydraulic pump the sleeving motor or the reduction gear for the turntable is located And here attached to the winch drum is the limit switch box. This is where the safety devices for loofing and hoisting are located. So every time the drum turns, this shaft also turns until the safety device actuates to its safety limit. So we will open the limit switch box. These limit switches are used to restrict the winding and unwinding of the winches for hoisting and loofing and to set the working range of lift and jib angle. The limit detecting device are accommodated in the limit switch box in the machine room. The limit switch box is composed of two screw shafts on which each travel piece travels. Micro switches, etc. The screw shafts are so arranged that they are interlocked with the drums of the hoisting and loofing winches and causes the travel pieces to move with drum turning. Thus the micro switch are actuated and cause the electric motor of hydraulic pump to be stopped. The motor stop causes the each mechanical brake of these winches to apply. Also the arrangement for grab electrical control panel is also located on the same deck for hydraulic system. The maker for the grab here is Mag Peener. So guys, that is the electrical control for our grab. Then we will go one deck more where the control cabin is located. <laughs>
This is the foot switch for grab closing and opening of the bucket. We also have here the brake monitoring gauge for slewing. On my right side is the electrical control panel. Alarm indicator lamps are also fitted on the alarm panel. Control room light switch, 1 kilowatt room heater switch, mercury lamp switch, space heater switch. Below are the alarm indicator lamps, the source lamp motor run lamp oil temp high or motor overload lamp oil level low lamp switch bypass loofing slack limit lamp and the oil temperature low lamp there are also two k switch the bypass switch and the selection for hook and grab operation never operate the crane with the bypass switch at the position bypass the operation with the bypass switch at the position bypass should be done only for resting the jib. Beside the control handle, there are also installed micro switches for safety purposes. For example, during operation, the crane suddenly stops or alarm has activated and the system automatically stops. You can only start the hydraulic pump if the control handle are in neutral position. That is the purpose of those micro switches beside the handle. It acts like a startup condition. <laughs> At the left side, the control for grab is located. This control is also for grab bucket, manual open and close. Below control is for grab cable drum, lower and pull. So guys, I will show you what is the grab cable drum. 
So this is the cable drum for lowering the power cable for the grab. The cable rail is also using a slip ring to transfer power from stationary to rotating part. Heaters are also installed inside the control cabin for winter season. By the way, the deck crane here is made by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with a capacity of 30 ton hoisting load. So guys, I will be showing a short clip for grab operation using wireless remote. So guys, thanks for watching my vlog about ship screen familiarization. I hope you learn few things about this topic. Okay guys, for those viewers that are new here on my channel, please support my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and, on the, and the notification bell so I can update you on my upcoming video. So if you like this video, please click the like icon and don't hesitate to comment down below. See you on my next video and have a nice day.